Hello, Ralph McIntyre here from Astro Map Links. In this video, we're going to talk about Pluto, our friend, the great liberator. It's time to let go of what no longer serves us. Pluto goes direct in the sky in Capricorn. To understand this transit, we need to go back to the summer and look at what's been going on for us personally, because Pluto and Saturn have been retrograde in Capricorn connected with the south node of the moon. So it's been an internal process. So if you go back and kind of look at what's been lighting you up, what's been agitating you, you can start to understand of what Pluto's going to want you to take action on as it goes direct. So Pluto is the great liberator. It is our friend. Pluto wants you to reach for greatness. Pluto wants to help you let go of things that no longer serve you. That's somewhat how it gets its bad rap, because Pluto's willing to burn the forest down so the forest grows back stronger. You know, Pluto will burn the house down to get rid of the things that no longer serve you. So as we look at this transit, we start to really understand what this Pluto going direct. So as it starts to move forward again, it's going to really start to put some energetic pressure on us to let go of things. People start feeling agitated. So the reality is, is if you take the effort, if you do the internal work, if you make the hard decisions to let go of what's not serving you, Pluto's your friend. If not, it's going to continually put things in front of you to help you see what you need to let go of, what's no longer working for you. Pluto and Capricorn is about structure, the structure of your life, how you deal with the structure of authority, how you deal with the structure of the world, how you structure your own personal life. It's about personal boundaries, what you let in, what you let affect you. Are there people in your life that you let affect you, that no longer serve you, that don't help you on your soul's journey? Well, as Pluto goes direct, it's time to distance yourself. It's time to come up with a new relationship with these type of people. Either remove them completely out of your life or step back a little bit so it's much more of a win-win situation for both of you. So one of the ways to look at this transit, because it's in Capricorn and so is the south node of the moon. So all of us are looking at the karmic things that no longer serve us. So when we look at Pluto, we look at Capricorn, we cannot ignore the fact that the south node of the moon is there. And the south node of the moon shows us what's happened in past lives, the habits that no longer serve us, things that didn't go well, things that we might subconsciously continue to do, bring forward. And as Pluto makes its way through Capricorn, especially right now with the south node of the moon, it's really asking us to break the bad habits, to get rid of the things that no longer work. And with Capricorn, it's about sustained effort. It's about staying focused. It's about looking at the big picture. So as Pluto mo moves direct, it's time to stay focused. It's time to take action. All of this agitation that we've all been experiencing this summer, our feelings have been pointing at the things that no longer serve us. So as you look at the south node of the moon in Capricorn, to really understand where you're going, you need to look at the north node in Cancer. Cancer is how you nurture yourself. So quickly, Pluto and Capricorn wants you to look at how the structures of your life truly nurture you, really nurture you, deeply nurture you, help you on your soul's path. And as it moves forward, it's going to start lighting those things up, asking you to let go, release, move on, grow. So the more you're willing to do that, the more Pluto is truly your friend. The more you're willing to look deep into the things that know that are difficult, Pluto is your friend. You know, Pluto gets such a bad rap, but to me, Pluto is the great liberator. It is your friend because it wants you to reach greatness. And the more you see that, the more you embrace Pluto's liberation, the easier the transits are for you. Pluto transits are difficult 
when you stay stuck. Pluto does not deal well with stuck. It's like, oh, I want to hold on to it because I'm scared. Pluto's like, no, honey, it's time to let go. This is harming you more than it's feeding you. So as you look at this transit, remember, North Node, Cancer, look to your moon. Look to where this is in your chart, what house it is in your chart to help you better understand what's going on. But this is a powerful transit that just went direct today. So a lot of people I'm noticing and talking to are really lit up, kind of energized as, as Pluto, because it's been about five, six months of Pluto being retrograde, Saturn being retrograde. Saturn went direct a couple weeks ago. Pluto goes direct today. It's uh, October 3rd, 2019. So as this transit starts to build, as it starts to go forward and, and get past where it was in the zodiac when it went retrograde, the energy is going to intensify. And the more you let go, the more you look inward and let go of all the things that no longer serve you, the easier this transit's going to be on you. All right, thanks again. I hope this video is helpful. Once again, like and subscribe if you want to see more content on this channel.